So guys, I am back with yet another First Descendant video and today guys, I show you the latest and greatest in regards to farms. You guys want to earn those shards, those Kuiper shards, you want to earn gold, you want to earn weapons, you want to earn materials, modules, reactors, I mean you name it guys, this is a great great farm for it. Now, over the past few days, I have been sent this farm um, by quite a few people so I just decided to share with you guys, I mean why not? I'm all about that sharing that knowledge and although this has been around now for a couple days at least I thought for people that don't know about it it's still a great great farm it should be taken advantage of how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so exactly what i just said guys i ain't really about comparing shard farms i mean to me it ain't about which is the best i'm I mean, me personally, the one I originally posted on Echo Swamp, this one right here in the abandoned zone is by far the best. I've tried and tested this one over the past hour now and it's decent, but it ain't as good as this one in my opinion, but it's a much, much easier farm to run. Now, in regards to the best farms in this game, this is probably one of the best in regards to how easy it is to run. It's so, so easy. So how it takes place and where it takes place is right here in sterile lands. Um, you want to come to this area right here, guys. And this is the mission we're going to be running. Now, keep in mind, this Kuiper mine mission is exactly that. We are mining that Kuiper and getting quite a lot of it. But you ain't completing the mission, so you ain't going to get any of these rewards. Just keep that in mind too. But XP, uh, shards, modules, I mean, weapons that you can dismantle, materials. You get a ton of them from this. Now, I'm doing this solo. I ran it in a team. I've been running in a team for about half an hour before I ran it solo. Every time I've run it solo, I'm getting about eight, between eight and 10K every five minutes in regards to those Kuiper Shards. In a team, I was getting closer to 14K. So it's gonna be much, much quicker in a team. And I am on Bunny, by the way, which makes things a lot easier in regards to that farm too. So we're just gonna make our way over to it, guys. And I'll show you exactly how this works. And again, it's not a mission. We're gonna be completing. So you ain't gonna get any of those, uh, completion rewards which is completely fine because we don't really need any of them anyway but hey it's all about those kuiper shards people it really is so here's the mission and what we're doing is we start it up and we take out a few enemies we take out a few enemies before they initiate the actual main main mission where we just basically stand on a point and take out uh as that indefinitely spawn and i mean it's indefinitely so we take these guys out we come across here take these guys out too it's always one that horrible shield Horrible shield. Now, actually, this is perfect me for me because I've not long applied another module slot to my bunny. So, in regards to leveling up in XP, it's a perfect one for me to test, and it's going quite good. I'm not, I've probably gained about 10 levels in trying this. So, yep, yeah, once we've taken all them out, guys, we stand on this point, and it's the usual type of mine where you have to capture the points. It's like, yeah, seven of these that are spread all over the place, as you can see right here. But what we do is, guys, because the enemy spawn here, 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 and here. We just basically stand in this circle and take them all out. Me being on bunny, I can just run around in a circle, taking them out quite easily. But a lot, and I mean a lot of descendants would be great at doing this. They really would. So just run around. And with my build, my bunny build now, because I've reset her, applied two or three module sockets to her now, which is absolutely perfect for a farm like this because when my ability runs out, it's more or less completely cooled down and because I've got that MP collector on too which I do believe I need to level up as well once that is fully leveled I get so much MP back for taking out those enemies which is what we want what we want so yeah this is all the farm is guys you do this for five minutes like I said you don't complete the objective you just let that timer run down you fail it it aborts you collect all those shards you collect all those materials off the floor and it's well as simple as that now again this is relatively i'm running it relatively slow compared to what i can do but um i try and speed up a bit if enemies want to get out my way but yeah in a team guys it's way and i mean way way quicker because people can just watch points and kill enemies in an instant and the faster you kill them the faster they will respawn actually making me dizzy when man in circles i'm not gonna lie it's making me proper dizzy <laughs> but yeah this is basically it and like i said in regards to how easy this is to farm with no stress whatsoever, no real hard hitting enemies even spawn in here. None of those annoying ass bastards with those annoying ass shields even spawn in here. It's such an easy farm. It really is. So in regards to how easy and efficient the farm is, this is probably up there with the best in the game. And this is go back and compare some of the older ones though, because there's a lot of Kuiper Shard farms 
that I haven't actually run since I got to hard mode. A lot of them were decent on normal, but the normal gains just ain't as good. They ain't what we like to see, people. No, they're not. So I've got about three minutes left. And this is what you do constantly, over and over. Like I said, this would be a great, great farm for a lot, a lot of descendants. And that's the thing as well. Although I like to demonstrate how efficient they can be on Bunny, it's probably the best all round uh, farmer in the game because of her uh, AoE attacks and taking out multiple ads at the same time. Especially in farms like this where they're all in a small area. But um, in regards to your other descendants too, this would be a great farm for them because again, you can stand in the middle here and suck at all the enemies. Which is cool, which is cool. But yeah, I do like to demonstrate them on Bunny to show how efficient they can be. There's always a bunny in a team. If you come here and do this in a team, it's even wilder. Like I said, you'll earn way more XP. Probably about 30% more, I'd probably say. But then there's, uh, there's bunny bells I've seen, but have worked on range. And they could just literally stand in the middle here, roll, and take out all these before they've even spawned. Which is madness. I posted an XP farm yesterday of a guy doing that. And it was running the mission. I don't know if you've seen that. I mean, for XP, it's the best I've seen. He was running the mission in about 14 seconds, and he was getting 80 in a team's 18,000 XP every time you do it. Oh, another another level there. It's 18,000 XP every time you do it. But you need Bunny to we need Bunny or Sharon to start it. There's a Void mission where you need a, an electric skill to start it. But you can go there in a team, and it's utterly wild for in regards to leveling up weapons. Um, mastery rank if you're leveling up your descendant. I mean, everything is utterly fun. I mean, it's just crazy. I'll link it down below if you guys didn't see that. It's by far the best XP farm in this game I've seen. And again, if you do it solo, if you build right, you're probably running about 30 to 40 seconds. You can do it quite quickly on Bunny or Sharon. You're getting 21,000 XP per run, and that's with no buffs on your build, no buffs from the battle pass in regards to XP gains or anything like that. So, yeah. But this is still a great, great farm. Like I said, it's so easy to do. So easy to do. And there's plenty of loot to be earned from this one. I'm pretty sure it will get even more popular over the next few days. So if you come here and you're set to public, you're going to get a lot of players doing it with you. Which is going to make those gains go up even crazy, guys. So yeah. I think we're last 20 seconds, last 30 seconds now. A few more enemies to kill, I guess. A few more enemies to kill. I need to work on my defense, I'm not going to lie. I mean, to be honest, the shield... And Bunny, I just, it just drains instantly, so I took off my, even sh my shield modules. It's, it's just always getting one shot anyway, so I'm just going to work on health probably. We'll see, we'll see. I've got plenty of module space now, so I have to reset it again. But we'll see what we do. We'll see what we do, people. We'll see what we do. Okay, so now it's done. Mission's failed. I'm just going to run around and see. I've left any Kuipers or gold on the floor. There's plenty of mods. My mods are already stacked out. That's mad. Okay, so a bit there bit here and I think that's about it I reckon I've got about 8,000 in about five minutes which is okay solo okay I got yeah 7,800 yeah so that's about average I'm getting every five or six five and a half five six minutes whatever now if you do this in a team you'll see this on screen now you'll see that I ran this a few times in a team and you'll see it's closer to 12 13k per run so it's much much better to do in a team guys it really is but hey there we have it another kuiper shard farm now again in my opinion it's nowhere near well it's not as good as this echo swamp one within the abandoned zone area that's still the best in my opinion and that you can earn up to four five hundred k per hour quite easily this one i'm going to do some quick maths i'll put and edit the video so as a solo player, quick maths, uh, we're doing this, let's say 8,000 every five minutes, which is okay, I guess. So you times that, because there's how many fives in 260, that would be 12. So therefore you times 8,000 by 12. And I believe you would get around 96,000, about 100K. So that's what you would earn in an hour doing this solo. And I'm doing this, well, I'm doing this on Bunny. You could probably earn probably 10K if you get the rhythm down. But in a team, it's close to 14K per run. So that I'd say you would earn about 170,000 per hour. Now this is not including dismantling those modules too. So please do keep that in mind. And it's actually something I haven't done. So let's quickly run back to the uh, Albion and see how many we get. Now in regard, I've probably done this for about 45 minutes to an hour. We'll see exactly how many modules I've got in regards to duplicates. 
I probably won't say it's that many to be honest. I can't say I've noticed many pop up. Okay, so I've had 159, so that's not bad. So that's an extra 75,000 on top for probably about 45 minutes to an hour's work. So not too bad either, guys. But yes, you guys do the maths. We're looking closer to around 250,000 per hour in a team. Probably more in regards to how many uh, modules you get. Probably close to 300,000 per hour so yes not a bad farm whatsoever like i said it's much much easier to run than many of the farms out there so yes do as you do guys take advantage of it if you wanna guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one